a topic that challenges the very foundation of scientific research, the reproducibility crisis. If you're excited to learn more, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more insightful discussions. Psychological science, like all scientific fields, is built on the bedrock of reproducibility, the idea that any experiment, when performed under the same conditions, should yield the same results. But what happens when this cornerstone of science starts to crumble? Our journey today starts with a landmark event that rocked the psychology world, the Reproducibility Project, launched in 2011. The aim was simple, yet bold, to replicate 100 psychological studies and see if the results hold up. The suspense built as researchers around the globe eagerly awaited the outcome. And then, the bombshell dropped. In 2015, the results were out, and they were a wake-up call for many. Less than half of the replicated studies achieved the same results as the original. This unexpected outcome rippled through the scientific community, sparking conversations about the reproducibility crisis in psychological science. But what exactly caused this crisis? The roots trace back to the pressures of the publish or perish culture, encouraging scientists to chase novel, flashy results, often at the cost of rigorous, replicable research. Add to this the tendency of journals to favor groundbreaking findings over replication studies, and we have a recipe for a reproducibility crisis. Yet, this crisis isn't a death knell for psychological science, but a call to action. It's an opportunity for scientists to introspect, to improve research practices, and strengthen the scientific method. One positive outcome of this crisis is a growing recognition of the importance of transparency, rigorous methodology, and replication in psychological research. Initiatives like the Open Science Framework and the adoption of pre-registration of studies are promising steps toward addressing these issues. Despite the challenges, it's crucial to remember that this crisis doesn't invalidate the field of psychology. Instead, it underlines the complexity of human behavior and the importance of robust research methods to unravel these complexities. In conclusion, the reproducibility crisis in psychological science is a stark reminder that science is a constantly evolving process, defined by questioning, learning, and refining. We're now part of a necessary transformation, pushing towards a more reliable, robust future for psychological science. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this exploration insightful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more in-depth discussions.